All right, here we have a show you know where we're being given a circle graph of the different types of pets that the 28 students in Mr. Wong's class own. So first question, look at the graph. What is the most popular pet? So we're going to look at the circle graph. Most popular pet is going to be the largest piece in that circle graph, which if you look here, we've got 30% for cats. That's our largest piece. We also have 25% for dogs, 25% for no pet, 17 for other, which could be fish, snakes, gerbils, rabbits, whatever. Uh, and then we've got an unknown tiny, tiny piece here for hamsters. So the largest, person, largest piece is for cats at 30%. How many students do not have a pet? Well, in this circle graph, the no pet is 25% of the class. Now, we don't know how many students that is. We're told that it's 25% of the class. But we know that the class size is 28 students, so it's 25% of the 28 students. So 25% of or multiply by 28 students. We can't use percentage as it is in a calculation. We have to convert it to a decimal. So we divide that by 100 and that we have 0 0.25 times 28, which works out to be seven students. So seven students in this class have a cat. Question C, how many students own a dog or a cat? Round your answer to the nearest whole number. So dog is 25%, so 25% of 28 students for the dog. Cat was 30%. So 30% times 28. 25% is 0 0.25, multiply that by 28. 30% is 0 0.30, again multiplied by 28. 0.25 times 28 is 7 students. Same calculation as above with 7 students not having a pet. And here we've got 0.3 times 28, which gives us 8.4 students. Now there's an issue with that that we'll talk about momentarily, but let's finish the problem. Total number of students with a dog or a cat means we're going to add the two together. So 7 plus 8.4 gives us a total of 15.4. Now we can't have 0.4 of a student. Students can be only whole numbers when we're counting them. So 15.4 is going to get rounded down to 15 students which is why we're going to the nearest whole number with this particular question. So there are 15 students that have a dog or a cat, approximately. Now, what percentage of the students have a hamster? Well, we need to add up all of these pieces, see what they total, and then whatever is left over before you hit 100%, that's going to be the hamster total. So let's add them up. Cats was 30%. Dogs is 25%. No pets was 25%, and other is 17%. When you add that up, 30 plus 25 plus 25 plus 17, you end up with 97%. So to figure out the hamster portion, we take 100%, subtract the 97% that we've already got accounted for, and we're left with 3% of the students have a hamster out of the class. So that's your show you know.